In today's video, I will teach you how to undo and redo in Photopea. Let's get started. When working with complex edits in Photopea, it's essential to be able to quickly undo mistakes or redo steps that you might have changed your mind about. Photopea provides both keyboard shortcuts and menu options for undoing and redoing actions, making it a flexible and user-friendly tool. And here's how you can do it step by step. First is undoing an action using the keyboard shortcut. For Windows, simply press Ctrl Z, and for Mac, simply press Command Z. This will instantly undo your last action, whether it's a brush stroke, a transformation, or any other edit. If you want to undo multiple actions, keep pressing the shortcut to continue stepping backward through your history of edits. Now here's how to undo an action using the menu option. To do this, navigate to the top menu and select Edit, then Undo. This method is useful if you prefer to work with the menu or if you're unsure of the keyboard shortcut. Photopea keeps a history of all your actions, but the number of undo steps may depend on your device's memory. If you reach the limit of the undoable actions, older steps may no longer be available for undoing. And here's how to redo an action using the keyboard shortcut. For Windows, simply press Ctrl, Shift, and Z. And for Mac, simply press Command, Shift, Z. This will redo an action that you just undid, allowing you to reapply the change if necessary. This is especially helpful if you actually undid too many steps or if you want to review how a change looked after moving on. And to redo an action using the menu option, simply navigate to the top menu and select Edit, then Redo. Like undoing, this method provides a visual way to redo an action without using the keyboard. If you need to step back and forward through multiple edits, Photopea's History Panel is an invaluable tool. You can find it in the right sidebar under the History tab. This panel shows the chronological list of your actions, allowing you to click on any previous step to revert the document to that state. It's a more visual and flexible way to navigate through your editing history than repeatedly pressing undo or redo. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.